One of the better ways to improve your ball control, brain function and decision making is with the use of a tennis ball. And that's exactly what we'll be doing today. My name is Patrick Angshevsky. This is Coach P's Tip of the Week, brought to you by 3 to 1 Sportscast. <laughs> I've got Michael here helping me out and we'll show you a set of tennis ball drills you can do either by yourself or uh, with the help of somebody. Okay, we're gonna start very simple. Michael will be, uh, get a few feet away from me. You're gonna go with your right hand machine gun. Now it's your machine gun in the ball with your right hand. I'll be passing one of the tennis balls to your left hand. You have to catch it overhand, pass it back, catch it overhand, pass it back. Let's go about eight reps or so. Catch and pass, right? At first, I'm going to throw those tennis balls slowly let him warm up a little bit and now as he gets a little more warmed up i'll be just i'm passing those tennis balls now continuously to him it's a fantastic brain function drill decision making drill ball, ball control coordination drill really all in one three seconds left two and one let's switch hands same thing with the left hand you'll be machine gunning the ball with the left hand we're going to go slow first and then we're going to increase the tempo okay let's go slow first I catch and then I pass, I catch, then I pass. Those are pretty, pretty basic. Okay, now as he gets more warmed up, we can increase the pace. Three, two, one, right on. Okay, now we'll take a step. Now we'll take, a, we'll take it a step farther. We'll make it just a little bit harder. I'll be tossing a tennis ball now with the hand that Michael's dribbling with, okay? So now Michael, so I'm, uh, so you're dribbling the ball with your left hand. I'm going to pass the tennis ball at your left hand. You have to cross over, catch it, pass it back, then dribble, keep on dribbling with the right hand, okay? Let's go left hand dribble first. Beautiful. And again, just like before, we're going to start slow. Oh, pass it, there you go. We start slow. And now as he gets a little warmer, more warmed up, we can speed up the pace a notch. Three, keep it going, let's go. It's three seconds, three, two, one. Perfect, and whatever we do in place, we also have to do it in motion, okay? So we're gonna start simple first. Michael's gonna start at the elbow right here. We're going to go with the right hand dribble first, only right hand dribble, and we'll exchange passes with your left hand. Make sense? You follow me as I'm moving backwards, we're gonna go between the elbows. Sounds good? Just. Boom, 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 yes. Yes, no switch, right? You just follow, uh oh, you just follow me, right? Good, and now let's work it back. We started kind of fast. We should have taken, a, uh, taken it a little bit slower, so uh, are you gonna go to your left hand machine gun? Okay, I'll be passing the tennis ball to your right hand, you pass it back to me, but I'm not gonna pass it back to you until I have both tennis balls in my hands, if that makes sense. So we're just gonna go a little bit slower, right? That's how we should have started. Michael is a little superstar, so kind of went with the flow and I did what uh, he can actually do, okay? So that's our drill number one in motion. Our drill number two in motion, we're gonna do our crossover, uh, crossovers, right? So I'm not gonna pass uh, the tennis ball to you until I have both of them in my hand, so we're gonna start slow, okay? So start with whichever hand. I pass it to your right hand. As you're dribbling with your right hand, I'm gonna pass it to your right hand. You have to switch, catch, pass it back, and then switch when I pass it to your opposite hand. All right, good. What's in, let's actually keep on going. What's important here is if you're a coach or a parent that you're working with, uh, you know, with your player, we want the player to uh, react and not predict, okay? What's gonna happen a lot of times is, especially as we go a little bit faster, the players just start dribbling the ball, anticipating the uh, tennis ball coming to you. And we, don't really, we really want to prevent from that and we want the player to react, right? So stay, take a step back, let's go again. Now make sure to switch only as the tennis ball is coming your way. Right? Don't predict, react. Let's go, whichever hand. Good. All right, beautiful. Michael's reacting. He's not switching early. That's how this drill should be done. Again, we don't want a player to predict. Okay, let's pick up the pace a little bit. I'm just gonna go continuously, okay? That's super tough. Excellent. So these are our uh, four basic drills with with two tennis balls, right? Now we're gonna go with the between the legs dribble, all right? So we're gonna go stationary first. I'm going to pass the tennis ball to whichever, uh, to the hand you're dribbling with. You, gotta, you have to go between the legs. Boom, boom, let's go in place. Okay, let's go. Nice. 
And again, just like before, we want the player, we want Michael to react and not predict. Excellent. Let's do it in motion now. We're going to go slow first. React. React. Oh, I got you. Good. Keep it going. Nice. Good. Okay. Let's pick up the pace just a little bit. Take a step back. There you go. Give me some distance. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Awesome. That's really good. All right. These are our basic tennis ball drills and just to work on our handles. What we can do now, we can make a game situation out of uh, with the use of these, right? Or these drills with the tennis ball. Step behind the three point line, you're going to go with your right hand machine gun. We'll be exchanging passes with your left hand. When I say go, you throw me the last pass, go to the basket, finish however you want to finish, like a hook or a scoop layup or, or a layup, just a basic layup. All right. Go. Right on. That's okay. Put it back in. Come on, put it back in. Let's go. Right on. Perfect. Let's go again. Let's make that layup. Okay, we're going to go right here, machine gun. Exchange passes. Go. Oh, come on. Put it back in. Let's go. Make it. Make this shot. All right. We got to make it. Finish with the right hand in the middle. I don't want you to be switching hands. Right hand in the middle, no glass. Okay, let's go. Right hand in the middle, no glass. Go. Two steps. Perfect. All right. Let's uh, do one more drill now. Okay, so whatever we do on the left side, we want to do on the right, and whatever we do on the right, we want to do on the left. Whatever we do with the left hand, we want to do with the right hand as well. Right, it's pretty uh, straight and forward. Let's go, or straight forward. Let's go left hand dribble. Okay, we're gonna go boom, boom, boom. We're gonna exchange passes. You pass it back to me. If I let you go, you finish at the rim, right? If I cut you off, you switch for a jump shot. Okay, every time you go middle, you finish with a jump shot. We can make it as complicated or as complex as we want, as long as it all makes sense, right? We're working now on even more decision making. Not only uh, does Michael have to make his decisions with the tennis balls, which is tough already, but now he has to think basketball on the fly, right? He has to decide whether to go to the basket. He's got to decide maybe to go to the middle, whether to shoot or to finish at the rim. That's pretty complex. Okay, let's go. Left hand, uh, left hand dribble. Go. Hey, hey. That's a jumper. Good. Right on. Let's go again. Go. All the way. Perfect. There you go. You've got a set of five or six tennis ball drills you can do uh, with your coach, you can do with your uh, dad or your mom to make you better. This is Patrick Yangshevsky's Coach Piece Tip of the Week, brought to you by 321 Sportscast. We'll see you next time.